Ever wait for the lecture? When I was a kid, my mom gave me a plate of spaghetti. And we were eating early at night, so I was able to carry it into the family room and put it on a TV tray to eat. Problem was, I walked a little bit too fast around the corner and hung onto the plate, but the spaghetti kept going. Whole glob of spaghetti right on the floor. I was waiting for the lecture that would follow. Or I remember another time when I was a teenager and decided to try out my batting stance inside the house right at the bottom of the stairs. When I lifted up the bat my batting stance, unfortunately, it hit the chandelier, which was right over the top of the entryway. People came running from around the house when they heard a crash and I was waiting for the lecture. I think there was been a, maybe a time or two when my sons were teenagers when they did something and I was coming home or Paul and I were coming home and we were waiting for the lecture. So what's the life lesson? What did you learn out of all of this? What are the takeaways? Here's the thing. Jesus tells a story about the son that's gone into a distant country. He shamed the family. He's dishonored the father. He spent a good portion of the family's inheritance. And he comes back and he's preparing a speech. He says, Father, I've sinned against heaven and earth. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Only make me as one of the hired servants. But the father, remember Jesus says, sees him a long ways off and runs to meet him, probably to save his life in the villagers. And he has compassion on him and he kisses him. Interesting twist. Father doesn't give him a lecture. He doesn't say, what's the life lesson? He doesn't berate him for what he's done. He just calls for the celebration. Do you want to know how gracious God is? God is so gracious that God skips the lecture and calls for the celebration. That's the kind of God I want to be around of every second of every day of my life. The God who skips the lecture and calls for the celebration. How marvelous is the overwhelming grace of God. This is your daily devotional for Saturday. Look forward to seeing you in church tomorrow. This is great holiday weekend, but we know you want to be faithful to worship the Lord and give your portion to the Lord. I hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me and seek first the kingdom of God. Remember, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. God bless you today.